So as I was saying, the Queen of England, the Queen of England, in 1953, in her coronation oath, she said this. She said she would uphold the law and the gospel. She said she would uphold the Protestant faith. Are we a Protestant nation now? Are we a Protestant nation now? She said she would uphold the faith. She said she would uphold the law and the gospel. Have we as a nation upheld the law and the gospel? Or have we abandoned the faith? We have abandoned the faith of our fathers. And we don't even know where we are going today. We are blind and we are walking with blind leaders. And my friends, we need to wake up. The Queen of England gave an oath. She gave an oath and said that she would stand for the law and the gospel. And we as a nation have abandoned that law and that gospel. That law says, Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt honor your father and mother. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That is what the Ten Commandments say. Those commandments still stand today. Those commandments have not changed. Laws may change. Culture may change. But those Ten Commandments still stand today. They are above our culture. And they are above our laws. They are the laws of God. And the law of Almighty God says that it's wrong to have sex unless you get married. It is wrong to have sex unless you get married. It is wrong to lie. It is wrong to steal. It is wrong to worship any other God but the living God. It is wrong to dishonor your mom and dad. It is wrong to break the Sabbath day. It is wrong. Those commandments still stand today. Political correctness is but a fad and will change. But you stand under that law. That you are not above the law of God. You are not above the law of God. You cannot live in lying and think that you can get away with it. You cannot be stealing and thinking that you can get away with it. You cannot be committing adultery and thinking you can get away with it. You cannot be worshipping idols and think you can get away with it. For the Lord of God stands and will always stand for eternity. You should never lie, never steal, never commit adultery, never worship any other God. You should honour the Sabbath day. You should honour your mother and father. You should not curse the name of God. These commandments stand for all time. And every single one of us is under those commandments. And we break those commandments and we become guilty. But God loves us. God loves us. And God showed us mercy and a way forward. You break the commandments and you become guilty. So he had to break his son to save us. John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, the Lamb of God that shed His blood, the Lamb of God that died for you. He was crushed on that cross for you. He was crushed on that cross for you that you can live. He was crushed on that cross so that you can have life. Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb. Behold the Lamb, behold the Lamb that shed His blood, behold the Lamb that died for you. The Lamb of God that loved you and gave His life for you and shed His blood for you. He loved and died on that cross and died on your behalf and, and died for you. That you may have life. 
So please come to his love today. And know his love and grace and peace in your life. Know his joy in your life. Know the comfort in your life. And the peace of God in your life. He wants to set you free today. And gives you peace. And give you love. And give you joy. And give you comfort. So come to him today. And know his love today. Know his peace today. Know his joy today in your life. Let Christ come in your life. He's alive today. He died and rose again. He conquered death. And shed his blood and conquered death for you. That you may live. That you may have life. And you can have life and life abundant today. You can have peace today. You can have the abundance of God and joy today in your life. If you come to know him as your Lord and Savior. So trust him today. The song it, it says, Amazing grace, how sweet the sound to save a wretch like me. And God gives us amazing grace today. The amazing grace of God's love will cover you today. Any mistakes you've made today, anything that you've done wrong, if you repent, that means turn away and turn to Jesus Christ. If you turn to Him, you'll find peace and forgiveness and, 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 and the grace and the, the grace of God and the love of God is offered to you today Jesus said come to me all you who are weak and heavy laden and I will give you rest take my yoke upon me and learn of me for my yoke is easy and my burden is light come to me all you who are weak and heavy laden and I will give you rest and you'll find rest for your soul today.